Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to any new viewers. This is going to be a reading for Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Leo, this is a monthly general reading. I'm going to pull some cards for your current energy, energy of the person, people, situations you may be dealing with, overall outcome of those situations for the month. That'll be the main spread. I'll pull some clarifying cards as well. And finish up with some cards for overall advice, positive affirmations, any other messages that need to come through for my beautiful Leo viewers. Leo, of course, it is general, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. If it doesn't, that's okay. Feel free to check out your other um, placements as well. But if you do enjoy the reading, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Okay, I'll just pop this up here because the light's reflecting on it. But that is the beautiful Ace of Pentacles. Definitely something interesting going on around you. Oh my goodness. What a um, contrast in energy there. Ace of Pentacles, Three of Swords. We'll have to definitely pull some clarifiers for that, I think. Let's see what else is going on here. Beautiful Aquarius energy there with the star. And I won't take all of these, but we've got the um, Four of Cups here, uh, High Priestess, Ten of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Let's just pull one more since so many wanted to flip out. And there's a Seven of Cups. Okay, cool. We've got the Four of Wands at the bottom of the deck here. All right, Leo. Okay, what is going on here? Um, something definitely has you feeling very passionate, very excited, um, very curious, passionate, interested about the future, the future potential of something. So you're really, um, you're really putting yourself out there and exploring something new. I don't know if some of you are recently single, or there's like a new opportunity for. Um, you know, career, work, a new opportunity for something to invest in potentially as well. Um, either way, you're very excited about it. It's got you very intrigued and you're feeling, yeah, some sort of passion and excitement for the future potential of whatever this venture is. Now, I feel as though you're in the mood to take some sort of a risk, to take some sort of a movement forward like I said potentially an investment or starting a new job or something like that I feel like you're keen to take that leap take that risk and see where things lead you there could also be someone that you are feeling very attracted to um, that you're trying to say you know maybe get to know a little bit better ask them out on a date um, you know put yourself out there and kind of make that connection make that communication in sort of a fun light-hearted playful way and seeing what sort of response you get now energy around you we've got again this um, interesting juxtaposition here because we've got the ace of pentacles and we've got the three of swords so very interesting energy like i said there could be some sort of potential for investing in something um, spending money on something in order to make money and you know venturing out in order to get some sort of a return or there could be some sort of bonus raise being offered to you or a new position where there's more salary involved but this is really interesting here with the three of swords I'm going to have to clarify that because three of swords swords is all about sadness loss heartbreak disappointment there could be someone around you who has recently been through some sort of a loss or heartbreak or ending of a relationship but now they're really feeling like they're ready to get back on their feet and venture out again into the dating world, into a new connection. And you may be offering something to them. They may be offering something to you. So that's very interesting. I hope it's not kind of rebound energy. We'll get some more um, information on that. But certainly this heartbreak, this loss, this sadness is still very much on your mind or on this person's mind. It's still relatively fresh, okay? Now, we've got... Um, the star card here we've got Aquarius energy here this is almost like I feel as though you're venturing into something which is going to give you a little bit more um, 
it's going to bring some accolades in. Like people are going to look towards you like you've achieved something or you're kind of you're kind of gaining in popularity somehow. Maybe you're increasing your network, something like that. People are definitely looking at you and, and admiring you. You may have also recently come out of um, a situation that required some kind of healing. And I feel like, again, you're ready to move forward with something. You're ready to make an offer. You're ready to explore something. You're ready to take a risk. You're doing it because you're coming from a place where you've healed from something. You're not feeling anxious about anything anymore. You've really come through a certain situation and you've come out the other side stronger. You actually have. And you've come through, you know, with a lot more wisdom, a lot more seasoned, a lot more experience. And that's why I feel you're willing to now move forward with your life and go forth in a new direction, basically. Um, interesting energy here with the Four of Cups and the Seven of Cups, because there's definitely a little bit of emotional confusion. Um, and it could be on behalf of someone else. Now, you may be deciding to make an offer to someone else, and it kind of I think it actually comes as a little bit of a surprise, okay? So I don't know if this is someone who maybe you've known in the past, not necessarily an ex, but someone who there was a connection there. Maybe you knew each other through like mutual friends or through work or um, something like that. Or maybe you were friends in the past, but it like never went any further. And there's potential here for reaching out to that person and sort of reigniting that spark. But that kind of leaves someone a little bit confused because this may be someone who you haven't spoken to in a while. Um, they haven't spoken to you, you haven't spoken to them. And then all of a sudden, like one of you reaches out and it's it's kind of left this person thinking, Ooh, I don't know, like what's the motivation here? Like someone's actually wondering about what your motivation is for reaching out to them, if that's the case. Someone is also, again, a little bit confused by all the new things going on, all the new offers, all the new opportunities. So this could be you as well. Um, there could be just a lot going on. It's almost like once you open the door to one thing, other opportunities come flooding in as well. So it's always it's always the way, right? It's like nothing happens for a while and then all of a sudden opportunities rain in. So I feel like that's going to happen. It's also kind of happening because this increase in popularity, like literally your star power has increased. We've got the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. Now, this is a very, very nice energy here of stability, of um, sometimes celebration, sometimes, um, you know, some sort of party or celebration, some kind of move sometimes something to do with the home environment but it's very positive sometimes it's even things like marriage commitments that kind of thing um, but there's definitely a sense of gaining a little bit more stability so there could have been a situation with your home or your living situation where it just wasn't feeling 100% you weren't feeling that confident and stable and just content in your home environment but I feel like that's changing that's backed up here by the nine of pentacles. It's almost like, um, I don't know if you were single for a while, recently single or single for a while, but in any case, I feel like you're ready now to expand, to explore, to move into something else, to take something, you know, to again, go, go out on a new path, start dating again, whatever the case may be. This could be the person around you as well. I'm getting earth energy here again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. You could be dealing with an earth sign, possibly an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be any sign. But this, I feel as though it's like single, single people all of a sudden ready to date or a situation where something gets sparked. So someone like you knew this person from the past, it wasn't necessarily a romantic relationship, but now you kind of reconnect with them somehow. Maybe it even happens by accident. But you come across this person and they or they come across you and there's like a reconnection there. And it's like, hmm, can this go somewhere? But again, there's a little bit of um, initial confusion. Let's pull some clarifying cards here. Okay. So we've got the King of Swords. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. 
definitely working hard towards something. I feel like you guys are working hard towards those pinnacles. Putting in the effort at, at work on your resources. Even if it's some kind of hobby, you're working very, very hard towards something. Okay, we've got some repeating energy here. So let me just lay these out. So we've got the Four of Wands again. We've got the Nine of Pentacles again. Five of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. Okay, this is interesting. And again, I'm getting a little bit of history here. Um, so I feel like there may be some history with this person. Again, someone you've known in the past in some capacity. Definitely someone single. Definitely could be an earth sign, maybe a fire sign again. Don't get too hung up on that because every sign is represented here and charts, you know, people's charts are very complex. But um, in any case, there's some strong earth energy. Um, so someone who is definitely single and reassessing their kind of life's direction. And there's a question though about what the connection was like in the past, even if it was just a friendship. There's maybe something that went down where it kind of, has this person not 100% sure about where your head's at, where your goals are for the future, that kind of thing. Or maybe that's how you're feeling about this person. But there's an energy here of wanting to explore this connection again, this opportunity, okay? You're willing to make an effort. You may end up being the one who actually messages this person or suggests su suggests like another meetup or a date or something like that. You're feeling confident that they will respond to you. I feel like they probably will, but they're going to take a little bit of time to think about it. They're not in a rush really either. Leo energy there with the strength card. So this person does definitely have... Um, there are some fond memories there. However, um, they're having to... They're holding back a little bit. They're definitely holding back. They're having to use inner strength to do so, which suggests that there are, on the one hand, they do want to connect with you. They do want to respond positively to this. On the other hand, they're just being a bit cautious. They're taking their time. And there's, like I said, there's a little bit of confusion. There's a little bit of thinking that needs to be done. I think if this, like I said, if this is a something that came unexpectedly to this person, um, they just need some time to think about it and process it. They don't make um, as quick decisions as you or as impulsive decisions as you do. Yeah, definitely. Something's definitely got this person a um, little bit confused. They don't have all the answers to something. This is interesting. I don't know how you two left it, but maybe there needs to be a conversation, like some clarification about something. They're confused about something. And you know what, um, for those of you, if this person is taking a bit of time to get back to you, um, they're also just quite busy. I feel they've got a lot of other commitments going on. Um, yeah, they're, they're maybe like having a busy period at work or something like that. But you know what, they also want to avoid a disappointment. Yeah, this is a, this is a solid, stable energy. This is someone who doesn't want to rush into something without knowing, without thinking about it, without thinking about the future, without knowing about where it could potentially lead. And so that's what's slowing them down. They're very concerned about also their money. They may be working very hard towards something or have other goals that they're kind of focusing on at the moment. So they're going to take their time. If something happened in the past which was sort of left unsaid or something that's not clear, I think they need clarification on that before they can make a, a decision to move forward or say yes or respond favorably to this. I'm just going to pull a couple cards that fell here. So we've got um, two of air, which is the two of swords. We've got justice, Libra energy here. This is an energy of being a little bit unsure, not having all the information. So again, someone needs all the information in order to make a decision. Um, they still don't feel like they have it all. Justice energy, it's almost like whatever um, work you put into this is what you're going to get back. So just be aware of that. Um, don't take this uh 
for granted or don't feel like it's just going to flow really easily or something or it's just going to kind of fall into your lap. You may have to put a little bit of work into this connection or a little bit of extra explanation to get this over the line. And give this person time. Yeah, give this person time, any time. Mm, okay. Yep, so there's a lot of um there's a lot of future potential here. Um this I think you're dealing with someone who's a very, very long term thinker. I think you're thinking long term as well. You're thinking long term as well. But there's something that has um there's still like this underlying sense of the unknown, of some sort of emotional confusion, multiple things going on. I feel like you are going to have multiple offers and so is this person as well. So there's a sense of just maybe spreading yourself a little bit too thin or maybe someone around you is also spreading themselves a little bit too thin and there's um, a lot going on and a lot of confusion about where to focus because a lot of things are taking um, this person's attention and also taking your attention as well. So um, definitely give space um, if space is required from someone else and if you need to take a little bit of space, do that as well. Um, but certainly... It seems like some kind of clarification is needed or some sort of conversation needs to be had in order to move this forward. And it's really about it's really about putting that sort of plan into place properly. Like don't again, don't take someone for granted, don't take it for granted that someone's like reading your mind as well or someone's feeling the same way. Like it really needs to be kind of put out there into the open and be clear, especially if there's anything that happened in the past that is, you know, was not resolved. I think that's going to need to be resolved before we can move on in this situation here. Similarly, with any um, kind of legal situation or any work situation, anything, if it has to do with like an investment or like a decision about money, finances, um, I feel like there are some more things that need to be ironed out, maybe contractually or again, questions unanswered from, you know, your side or the other person's side that need to um, be cleared up before you can move ahead with this. Um, but in terms of finances, I am seeing um, definite potential for success there. So if this is an investment that you're getting ready to move into, again, once you have all the information, I'm seeing that that's potentially very good. Of course, I'm not a financial advisor, guys. Take you know, you need to um, make your own call on that and do your own research always. Um, but there's yeah a lot of um, potential for future growth here. But it will depend on what information comes to light and making sure you are thorough. Okay, I'm going to leave it there, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that reading. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching, and I hope to see you all in the next video.